dual motors, dual batteries, dual suspension, dual power delivery. Put it all together and you've got the recipe for a completely ridiculous electric bicycle that is more fun than I can even describe. So sit back, relax, and check this one out because this is one e-bike you're not going to want to miss. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm reviewing the Super Monarch from eCells. It's an all-wheel drive, full suspension fat bike with two batteries. Let's go for a ride. The Super Monarch electric bike actually comes in two flavors. The one I'm on is the 1000 watt model, though they also have a slightly less powerful 700 watt model. Both probably have more power than you need, making them a ton of fun. The 1000 watt model actually puts out closer to 1500 watts of peak power, and I can get it up to a top speed of 32 miles an hour on throttle only. It comes from the factory limited to 20 miles per hour, which keeps it legal as a class 2 e-bike, but there are instructions in the manual to remove the speed limit, if that's something you're interested in. The only way it can reach those high speeds is by being specced with the right components. Those dual Bafang hub motors are powered by a pair of 48 volt batteries. The frame battery is a 672 watt hour pack, and the rear rack battery is an 840 watt hour pack. Together, that's over 1.5 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, and enough for between 30 to 60 miles of range, depending on the terrain and how you ride. The all wheel drive bike offers both throttle control and pedal assist. The pedal assist is cadence based, not torque sensor based, which is probably the only area I can gripe about on this bike. Torque sensors are great, though they do add to the price, so I can accept the cadence sensor in this case. And if I'm being honest, I throttle around most of the time anyways, so I'm not super worried about it. But I also love using the pedal assist to amplify my pedal power, and the pedal assist system on the Super Monarch does work quite well. But it's all the other components on this bike that really set it apart. There's the DNM adjustable suspension, the Shimano Diore and Alivio shifter and derailleur, the Origa hydraulic disc brakes, these are all high-end parts. Are they the highest? Are they top shelf? No, of course not. These are not competition level components, but they're better than you'll find on almost any other electric trail bike outside of those $5,000 and up European electric mountain bikes. And speaking of price, the Super Monarch is fairly reasonably priced in my opinion. The 700 watt model is priced at $2,795, while this 1000 watt model is priced at $3,195. Plus, you get some great accessories for free, including custom designed panniers for turning the Super Monarch into a powerful utility bike, cargo net, a toolkit that clips onto the rack, matching gloves and helmet, etc. So, for an all wheel drive bike as powerful as this one, I think these prices are pretty fair. Now, speaking of making this into an electric utility bike, that's one of the things I love about the Super Monarch, that it works great both on and off-road. On-road, it's a fast, powerful e-bike that topped out at 32 miles an hour for me and can out-accelerate cars, at least until they catch up and reach higher speeds. And it also has the power needed to haul heavy loads or to climb hills, and it would make a great urban assault bike. But where it really shines is when you take it onto the trails. These big, fat tires are extra wide, so you can travel over loose dirt and sand, and the full suspension means you can hit roots and bumps without shocking your spine. The bike is fairly heavy. Actually, scratch that. It's quite heavy, at about 92 pounds. But I was still able to take it through some fairly rigorous riding, and the weight wasn't really noticeable to me while doing more technical trails. Sure, if I was jumping the bike, then I bet it'd feel a bit more cumbersome. But the Super Monarch has the power and stability to offset its higher weight, which is one of the things I love about e-bikes, that they don't really suffer as much from weight penalties the way pedal bikes do. Go strap 20 pounds onto a standard mountain bike and its rider's gonna start crying. Do the same to an e-bike and you'll barely notice the difference when riding. The bike just hauls and hauls without protesting. Now go to lift the bike into a truck at the end of the day though, and that's where the 90 pounds of the Super Monarch is gonna be a bit more of an issue. For me though, I found that with 1.5 kilowatt hours of battery, I could just ride the bike to any trails I wanted to enjoy, instead of having to truck it there. Then I'd spend an afternoon ripping around through nature, and somehow I'd still have plenty of battery to make my way back to the road and ride the rest of the way home. And that's the benefit of carrying an extra battery with you. The bike is always drawing from two batteries, meaning you don't just get twice the capacity, but the batteries actually run cooler and more efficiently since they don't have to provide as much power. 
Unless you're like me and you keep it in all-wheel drive mode all the time and rip through the trails with reckless abandon. Then the batteries might be working nearly as hard as on a standard single motor, single battery bike. But like I said, I never even got close to running through both batteries on a single ride. Basically, I'd describe the Super Monarch as the ultimate funmobile. With two batteries and two motors, not to mention the giant tires, it can go everywhere and do anything. On-road? No problem. Off-road? No problem. Pick it up and carry it around for a while? Okay, maybe a bit of a problem. But I spend more time riding my bike than I do lifting it, so I'm giving the way to pass here, at least for my needs. Between the high-end components and the ridiculous amount of excess power and range designed into this e-bike, it's definitely one of the more fun rides I've had in a while. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you like the Super Monarch, you can learn more about it at eSales.net. If you like this video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.